You know, after teaching travel journals for you know quite a few years now, one of the persistent questions out there and it's kind of the challenges that people have is they say, I don't know how to paint, I don't know how to sketch, I'm not an artist, all of those kinds of things. Well, you know, even the famous artists, uh, when they started, trust me, they didn't know how to do it. Um, but, you know, with a little bit of practice, and somebody showing you some tips and tricks, you, you'd, you'll be surprised at what you can do. This, for example, this is a travel journal that I did for a couple of week paddle trip down the Yellowstone River along the, uh, uh, along the parts of the Lewis and Clark Trail. So I, I wanna show you how you can do just little vignettes. Don't worry about the intimidating size of this big open blank page, but lots of little vignettes you can do from sketch maps of where you were camping, to um, you know, just a little uh, mayfly carcass there that was along the, the river bank. This is a uh, these are prairie coneflowers. We did a tour of, an, of the Crow Reservation archaeological site, and, and these were just beautiful. This huge field there. So lots of different things that you can do in your travel journal, and so I'm going to start with by doing that and giving you a little tips and tricks on how to do a kayak that you could just sit right in the side of it and do your writing in and around it. So have a look here at how to do a kayak and I think you'll be surprised. A little bit of practice and, and away we go. So here we are having a look at, at some of these little sketches and these little watercolor vignettes that you can do in your, uh, in your travel journal. And again, this is to try to address that barrier that a lot of people have about, I can't draw, I, you know, I'm not an artist, I, I don't know how to paint, all of those kinds of things. So um, I showed you how to do rose hips. Um, there's the little uh, little vignette of, of that. Um, but think about, you know, if, if you're worried about doing it in your, in your uh, sketchbook, then just take a, an, an envelope that you're going to recycle. And what I want to look at today is how you can do a kayak. If, you're, if you've got a paddle journal, for example, and you do a series of weekend paddle trips in your kayak, um, or it's part of your, um, maybe you've rented a kayak when you're out in Hawaii or um, on vacation somewhere, um, and you may wanna just put that kayak in there and then write around it. So kayaks, they're really straightforward. So again, hold your hand in one kind of position and just do an arc down and there's, don't worry about it being symmetrical. This is, you know, you're not, you're not Picasso and you will get better the more you do this. So um, you've got a, a cockpit that you sit in here. Let's not worry about all of the, the detail on that. You probably got a, some kind of porthole up in the bow here. You've got, um, there's a, the center line. You probably got little, um, grommets here in order to hold some gear on. And once you have this basic drawing done, there's the, the seat that you're going to be sitting in. Really, everybody on the planet is going to know that this is a, um, this is a kayak, okay? And if you put little lines here, people is going to know that the kayak is moving in this direction, right? So there's your kayak, really straightforward. And I want you to take, and we're gonna, we're gonna do a, a kind of orange kayak here. So um, just take some watercolor, very light, and, um, and just go over this area. Remember, this is, this is just practice. So, you know, the watercolor isn't gonna work real, real well on bond paper like this, like it will on real art paper but you're, you're gonna get the idea of, of how it works. And I'll show you a, a way here with this, you can, you can add a, a little dimension to it. So there's your, there's your basic kayak. If we did that kayak um, in, our, in our sketchbook here where the paper's a little bit heavier, there's your, your kayak, there's the cockpit that you're sitting in. There's that little porthole up at the bow. You've got your grommets in the back here. And you'll see how the watercolor acts differently on, on paper that's a little bit heavier. So just paint over this. Paint 
the whole thing. It's going to be orange, but again, I'll, I'll show you how you can add a little bit of dimension. We'll leave this porthole, um, and you can... I, I might paint that porthole black later, once everything is dry. So there we've got our, our kayak all painted up. And you, as I say, you've got some lines here just to show that the canoe, the kayak is moving in that direction. There you go. Now, can't really do it with this this one because it's it's wet. But with this one, you know, it is a little bit drier, so you can show that the sun is coming in from this side here by taking that orange again and just painting this side of it. And with it being darker, it's gonna look like it's in shade a bit. There you go. So again, how long did that take us? You know, like, uh, you know, a couple of minutes at the most. And then what you wanna do is, is you wanna write around it. You know, you've, you've got your little kayak here from your weekend paddle trip. And I, I want you to think about, about where you went and, and write some things about where you went. Either write it in paragraph form or you can do it in point form. All of those kinds of things. It really doesn't matter. As long as you get down where you went, um, maybe who you were with, those kinds of things. What the weather was like. All of the, that kind of, of thing you can add and really get a sense and, and really cue your memories about those great places you went. So you can do sketches, you really can. It's a matter of practice and some of those tips and tricks on how to get it done. So head on over to Travel Journal 101. You can download a weekend um, pad, a weekend travel journal there. There's a downloadable PDF and it's got all the instructions. Um, there's a flip through of one of my, uh, one of my uh, paddle journals. Um, in this case, the, the Yellowstone River in, in Montana. Um, incredible trip that uh, down that uh, down that part of the uh, Lewis and Clark Trail. So um, give it a try. You are going to absolutely love having a travel journal.